The vision for molecular imaging and therapeutics is a vertically integrated division that starts with basic sciences discovery, moves into uh, clinical translation of new agents, then on to bringing value to our overall clinical reads and our clinical mission, and then finally has advanced imaging analysis, including artificial intelligence, with an eventual goal to close the loop on that and actually apply artificial intelligence back into the basic sciences discovery. Our molecular imaging and therapeutics division is at the core of our department uh, and our institution because it brings together our excellent basic science researchers and our incredibly uh, dedicated clinicians um, in order to advance um, research and care and education for our patients uh, at North Carolina and beyond. Our team in molecular imaging and therapeutics has domain experts across every, uh, every space within nuclear medicine from, from chemistry and basic sciences discovery all the way through advanced imaging analysis such as artificial intelligence. And the most important aspect of, of what we do is that those experts are in regular communication with each other, they collaborate with each other, they know what the next steps are in each of their own fields, uh, as well as in, in adjacent fields. And so we're really able to all focus on, on executing one broad uh, vision for, for molecular imaging and therapeutics. I'm excited and inspired to be here because we do a lot of research. Um, research that can be life-changing one day. So it makes me happy to be a part of a team that could help someone else eventually. Our team is at the forefront of genitourinary cancer imaging. And whether they're collaborating with the ACR on writing guidelines, or they're rolling out new innovative imaging here at Carolina, they're doing incredible things to advance healthcare and research for our patients. So advances in molecular imaging have allowed us to identify tumor deposits and tumor metastases in a way we never could before, um, allowing us to target those specific metastases with directed therapies, whereas before we were left treating patients systemically. So it's really minimized the toxicity to patients and helped us be much more targeted in our approaches. I'm really excited about the future of theranostics. Uh, because it offers us a unique opportunity to see what we treat and then treat what we see. This will lead to personalized medicine, which we have never seen before. Uh, Theranostic already see the great success in treating prostate cancer patients. We believe the same strategy can be applied to other targets, other diseases, which will greatly benefit the pa patient population. The experts at UNC in molecular imaging are really helping us as clinicians understand how to use these new technologies and help us interpret what are the false positives we're seeing, what are the false negatives, what are the clinical contexts in which these technologies are useful, what are the clinical contexts in which they're not. And so really having them as partners on our team has made a dramatic difference in how we use these tests and how we think about them for changing the care for our patients. Cutting-edge technology is important across every domain in nuclear medicine, from our scanners to the radio tracers and therapeutics that we give, all the way up to advanced imaging analysis, particularly with artificial intelligence. We are particularly focused, focusing more and more every day on the use of generative artificial intelligence, and these would be things like chat GPT, large language models, generative adversarial networks, and what those can really bring to, to nuclear medicine where they've been underapplied in the past. Radio therapeutics are now at the core of cancer imaging and therapeutics. It is a vast world that's ever evolving and our team is integral to this, whether it comes to clinical research or therapy of our patients. UNC Chapel Hill provides a very unique environment in this aspect, so we can do probe design, probe synthesis, labeling, animal testing, large animal testing, and then eventually translational research. The overarching ethos in molecular imaging and therapeutics is that we are all a team and we are all pulling in the same direction. There are people that, uh, that report up through different hierarchies. So there are hospital employees or university employees, and you can imagine that that could create sort of a lack of cohesion. But here it doesn't. Here everyone knows that ultimately we're going to do the right thing for the patient and we're going to all work together as a team to achieve that. Of course, we have other missions, including research and teaching. Uh, and we approach those in a very team-like manner as well. So if I were to sum up our culture in, in one word, it would be teamwork. 
The future is unbelievably bright. Radiotherapeutics are now one of the pillars of cancer care, and soon they will be on par with immunotherapy and other oncologic management for our patients.